I'm gonna tell you about the perfect little travel device to keep you productive on the go. This is Mobile Pixel's small portable monitor, the Duex Lite. Now there are so many different use cases for this monitor that I could spend the next 10 minutes listing them out for you, but that would be a bit boring, so I'm not gonna do that. But let me just tell you a little bit about this product in front of me. This is the Duex Lite, which comes in white or deep gray. It's a 12.5 inch portable screen and it has a full 1080p monitor. It weighs just under 600 grams or 1.3 pounds, whatever measurements you use. I really like this monitor for a couple of reasons. One, you can take it anywhere with you. Two, if you're short of desk space, this is perfect. And three, you only need a USB-C cable. Now, Mobile Pixels, the company, do have other models too, such as the Duex Plus, which is a 13.3 inch screen. So if you want something slightly bigger, you can get that. Or better yet, instead of one monitor, you can extend them out to two, which is the Trio. And these come in two different sizes of 12.5 and 14.1. Let's take a look at what comes inside the box. Straight away, you get greeted with a setup guide which shows you on the back in terms of the magnets, how to place them on your laptop, um, how to open the laptop, and then how to move the screen as well and with the mount. We then have the monitor itself. So if we take this out, we'll pop this to the side for one second. This also comes with a magnetic guide. Uh, and what this does, it allows you to place your template on the back of your monitor to place the magnets. This comes with a monitor stand as well, the origami kickstand. So what this allows you to do is connect the monitor to this and you can just sit this up, which I'll demo for you shortly, and you can sit that up on the side. Let's just pop that to the side. We have the USB cable. So it has USB-C for the monitor and it has USB-3 on this side. And then once you lift that off, you have USB-C too. So you have to make sure you have a minimum of USB-3 um, for this to work. And the last thing in the box is the instruction manual. So let's have a quick look inside here. It looks like you have some padded feet for it. And then it shows you the different ways you can set up the monitor, which we'll also have a look at shortly. So it shows you how to install it on Windows with the drivers. It shows you how to install it on OS X, um, which we will again have a look at as on that. So inside here, we have the monitor, which we can take out. And then you can just pull this out and then change it however you need to. Generally how this would work is you connect the magnets to the back of your laptop as the guide shows you. And I'm trying to take these magnets off. They're actually quite strong, these magnets. So I don't think you really need to worry about this going anywhere. because So they're actually... They're actually very strong magnets, so you don't need to really worry about this going anywhere. I have a MacBook Pro, so I'm not very much of a fan of connecting magnets to my MacBook Pro. Um, I like to keep it in a good condition. So what you can do is use the origami stand. So if you want to use it landscape, all you need to do is pop that forward. Pop that forward, and there you go. That's now sat, and it's, it seems fairly sturdy, like it's not going anywhere. What you could also do is just turn this monitor around and flip it over and there you go. You then have yourself a monitor that you can plug into your laptop next to you. The other way I like to, I really like this monitor is when you can set it up in portrait mode. So if you imagine you've got your laptop next to you, you can actually have your screen set up in a portrait mode. So if we have a quick look around the unit itself, you can see there's a few magnets on the side. This just clips back in. You have a few buttons at the top, which we'll have a look at what they do shortly, along with that one. And yeah, you've got your magnets on your back. And like I said, 600 grams, this is, is very light um, to carry around with you and your laptop. So let's get this plugged in and see what we can do with it. So I have my MacBook Pro here in front of me, ready to test out the screen. I have it set up in a portrait position at the moment. It's quite straightforward on this. It's fairly plug and play. Uh, you need to grab your USB-C adapter and pop that in the top just here. And on the other side, you have a USB-3, but we want the USB-C on this side, which is just an adapter just there. And we can plug that straight into the MacBook Pro. So I'm just tilting that up slightly so you can see. And straight away, you can see the... Uh, 
screen is connected and it's working. So if I open up a browser, for example, so I can literally just drag this across. There you can see I have my YouTube channel just here on the screen. So it works perfectly fine. I mean, if I go to play some sort of video, for example, so here's some 4K footage, for example, which is royalty free. So here we go. This is now running at the moment in 1080. And if I change it to a 4K playback, you can see it's fairly fluid in its setup. So this is what I was saying before about the screen being very flexible in terms of what you can do. So now I can turn it into a portrait mode. So for that, I would just need to go to my display preferences, click on the screen, go to display settings, choose the device, and then change it back to its standard rotation. And what that will allow me to do then is to set it in a landscape mode. So what I'm gonna do just before I get this set up, I'm just gonna pause it and I'm gonna grab the origami stand and as you can see, it's fairly straightforward to get that set up on the origami stand. And there we go, like I said, it's quite simple and easy to set up. You can see the playback, if I just show some playback footage on here, it's quite smooth, it's quite, even if I go to a full screen, it still looks fairly good without it being choppy. Now there's two buttons on the side that I mentioned earlier, there was an up and down, which is the brightness. So we can go to 100% brightness. And the other button gives us the backlight, contrast, saturation, color, etc., which we don't need for now. So we can just go all the way down and click exit. And there we go. If I was to add one more thing to this, it would be the touchscreen capability. I'm sure that would push the price up a little bit more. And speaking of the price, I almost forgot to tell you it. The retail recommended price at the moment is £329, but they do have some sales on and they're quite good. So be sure to have a look at them. And if you've missed out, well, perhaps wait for Boxing Day because I'm sure they'll go on offer again. The links are in the description below if you could be so kind to use them, even if you aren't buying the monitor. Let me know if you would use this monitor on your setup, whether you find the portability useful, do you take a portable monitor with you, or do you think you would find this useful on your setup at home? Remember, support the channel by hitting the like button, hit the subscribe button, and if you want, there are some details on how to support the channel further in the description below. This is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.